I've got a BHM, Olympus BHM metallurgical microscope and this is the power supply that powers the illumination system. The illumination system, when I got the microscope, was based on this, this bulb which slides into this assembly here. So that plugs in there and then the bulb illuminates. Unfortunately it's not particularly bright. In order to get any decent brightness out of it you've got to go into the red on the transformer. So I wasn't too happy with that. Also it's a bit orange when it's uh, when it's dim and there's probably a bit of orange when it's brighter. So I decided to replace that part, leave everything else the same, so I'm not going to change the microscope. I think this bulb anyway was was just an automotive bulb that someone's put into that that holder. So I don't think that's the proper bulb. It might be, but I don't think it is. So what I did was I decided to use these Cree LEDs. So this is a one watt LED. I bought some three watts as well, but this is this is bright enough for me at the moment, and it's pretty easy to change. And I built this. So this is a a block of aluminium with the LED mounted on the end with three screws. There's a channel here for the wires to come down out of this assembly. And that just slides into that assembly there. If you look at the aluminium you can see that when that's plugged in the filament here is where the LED is mounted. So the physical arrangement of the illumination is the same as when the bulb's in there. Now if you don't do that, you move this in or out this way, you end up with a bright spot in the middle of the um, field of view of the microscope. So this does work quite well. It is brighter as well than the bulb. So this is also a heat sink here because this, this bulb does get, sorry this LED does get a little bit warm. It doesn't get hot and this does dump the heat out the back of the assembly. Because this is a variable transformer it actually outputs AC. So here I've got a bridge rectifier and a capacitor and some dropper resistors um, just to limit the current. And um, that's used to turn the AC, which comes in here from the transformer, to DC so that I don't get any strobing effects on the camera. I think the capacitor is not large enough at the moment because I am getting some strobing, so I'll be looking at that. The connector here, I made that myself, so that's actually two turn pins in a 3D printed shell. I didn't want to hunt around and try and find a connector that fitted and wait, wait for it to arrive and so on. So that slides in there. That slides in there. <coughs> and then that screws up. That's the uh, illumination. So if I turn it up, you can see that the LED is on at just 4 volts at the moment. And that's pretty bright. And you can keep going, get brighter brighter you end up with a pretty strong illumination system and you can see that it's a it's a nice even illumination as well I use it sort of down here on um, four five six volts don't need to go to the higher voltage very much at all so that's what I use now for the illumination of my microscope it's uh, working quite well, apart from the strobing problem I've got, so I'm going to be investigating that pretty soon.